system as tight synopsis is dropped when I level the score. Two crew from the tenement floor. Pause for thought as I draw from the head of me lane. Walk forward from enemy gates. So bare things, no air trade. Hey, like I ain't on one, two, three, pop. Like I ain't finna bust when my homeboy make the fucking beat drop. Bustin' the cap and the whack when I'm rappin', you really need to trust in the fact that I'm back and I'm slapping the industry for duckin' the cap when he rap with the passion when I'm in the space. Like so what's good, brother? How you doing? I'm doing just great. Perfectly fine. So tell me, what's going on? Nothing much. Just popping in the scene, doing my thing. How's the scene doing? Um, that's pretty much up and down. Tell me a little bit more about the up and down of you. So basically. The game has been tough, but my, for my personal down, money-wise, I guess, it's hard for me to pay off my responsibilities. But then again, my ups, I'm still getting gigs, but it's not what it used to be back then. What you used to get back then that you are not getting right now? The clubs are reducing their budgets, so my payment is going down and down pretty much. And I have no choice to like actually grab them, because I have responsibility to play. How long have you been emceeing? Uh, till today? Probably a year and a half plus. So back then, as in like one year ago, you're saying that the payment um, was better mm -hmm. and to present, mm -hmm. your payment has just gone down right. below to not able to cover your commitments. Right. So obviously money is an issue. Uh, that's similarly related to our episode 2. Uh, understanding the fact that clubs are reducing their budgets and um, MCs are struggling into, into getting the, the right pay, what they should get. Fine, fair enough. So, what else that's coming into you that you feel that you, you always get demotivated in being an MC at present? Nowadays, if you see, like, there's more bars opening rather than clubs. They don't need much of an MC these days. And if they're going to need an MC, they're going to rotate with the same MC on and off again. again. So you're not getting an opportunity it's because they're just using one MC in one club and they don't go for any other MCs. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Let me get this straight. Obviously, we do have parties, events, and all that's coming up. Right? So I'm sure they're not going to use the same MC. They will use other MCs too, right? It depends actually. Basically they'll pick like this one MC and then he's gonna go through our festivals put outside uh, the club scene. Like for festivals and stuff, they're gonna put out this particular MC throughout. Uh, okay. And for the club scene, probably they're gonna like grab an, an MC and maintain him as a resident probably. Speaking about resident MC and a guest MC, you realize that a resident MC gets like a monthly salary fixed and there's something that uh, the talent needs to understand being a resident at one place you you can't move out to any other places because you commit to just one club and that's where you have the agreement between you and the club that you gotta serve the club and you'll be paid on a monthly basis where do you stand in your position where you, you want to be comfortable or you want to hustle basically um, it's a win-win situation for both like if I'm comfortable I, I have like this specific amount of salary that I'm earning for a month but if I hustle, I can probably reach out more than what I'm supposed to get in there. Well, fair enough, and that is the reason why, coming back to your statement saying, uh, why do certain MCs, they get to go to festivals, and certain MCs, they just stick in one place. Uh, that's because we are looking into the different state of angles from what is shown to us, like why only this MC is able to go here, and why this MC is always at one place. Because we judge from what we see. So now you being in that industry and right now you're saying you having issues where finding opportunities is a bit difficult. Are you playing around with quality versus quantity, quantity versus quality? Are you in that stage? I guess it is. So what kind of quality are you looking at? What kind of quantity are you going for? For quality wise, I guess they look forward for the talent, but in quantity wise, it's how you bring the sales in. So a talent right now, it's also focusing on how to bring sales for the club. Yep. It's this required? To me, no, it's not. I don't think so it's required. That's out of my capabilities or something because I'm focusing towards my talent. I should not be interfered in the bringing sales and stuff to the club. Where did you get this information where you should bring in the followers? Do I mention club's name? Uh, you can say back in the days where I used to MC, probably a year ago, uh, this club called like me and my DJ, we had talent and stuff. We used to give out good shows, but 
at the same time we did not bring sales so at, at their point of view it's not really helping them or benefiting them in a way because all they want is sales to be very very frank here how i think club business works is the heart of the club is where music and the mc is where where it drives customers to come in to be entertained by you guys to capture the sales inside that club it definitely relies on the service the pricing how the marketing is uh, boosting their promotion even the owner if it requires him to come to the table and say hello thank you very much for coming over to the club and uh, i truly appreciate your presence here enjoy your night if that kind of services is required to make a customer feel warm and they want to feel like it's home for them to be um, in, in that particular club then i think it's a whole package that involves even a security uh, matters for a point all this comes in a package your work and the dj's work at that stage is to give a good piece of entertainment and that's all you need so where do we find this problem coming is people from the clubs are making use of talents for everything so that their work is pretty much easy at the end of the day ain't that right let's say if i now i'm an mc who I run an ambassador with me as well, and I, they have another MC who doesn't run shit, just purely talent. Okay. Obviously, the club is going to choose me because I can bring people. Okay. Even though how talented he can be, doesn't matter. But here's what I think it is: instead of focusing on the clubs, now the clubs are focusing on people. So why don't you get your quality shows connecting with the people? Now here's the formula. The club is looking for people. The talents are looking for clubs. Where what is missing here is the connection between talent, people and club. The club is obviously looking for people and they are listening to the people. So they have gone down in their business value from believing the fact that my service, my place can drive in people, but I have to depend on people for my club to pack up for the whole night. Why talents are following the clubs in order for them to get their shows. Instead, they could follow the opportunity where they could grab it from the people themselves. The people are the DJs. Connecting with a lot of DJs who is able to go a lot of places, connect with a lot of DJs and, and go with them for shows. When we do that, I'm sure you can get more opportunity. That is very true, but that if the club wants to hire a package where the DJ and the MC comes along together, but usually it's only the DJ. They only hire a DJ? A DJ and probably they will find their own MC. Okay. They will find their own MCs? Yeah. It's very rare for, that, for us to package ourselves. Because the clubs always find their own MCs. What's the purpose of them finding their own MCs when the MCs are all the same? That's the thing, I don't get it as well. Like I would love because we back in the club, it used to be dope because we all had this chemistry going on. Mm. But if you want to sell outside, they don't want to hire all of us together. Rolling up some doobies and dining with my crew, you got roaches everywhere. Champagne bottles popping too, and the party rock crew is here. The party ain't the same, tell them bitches ease up. Cause the gas is on my name. When you come around, when we run around, let me make it my... You don't approach clubs, you don't approach DJs, or you don't approach agents to work uh work about your 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 press kit to clubs no i don't know you don't i don't so you 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 just wait for clubs to call you yep exactly just wait for them probably discover me and if they want to hire then that's great don't you think that's ego not really i mean sort of i guess sort of i guess but then again if i'm gonna approach them they'll be like why should I hire you? And then they will lower down their budget. Otherwise, otherwise, if they come to me, there's going to be a demand for me to ask something because you want me to. Having that say, let's let's drop down the ego a little bit and come back to something more workable here as a formula. You've been in the MCing industry for two years. Okay, let's put it that way. But if you are looking this as your career, we are going to go for the next five years or 10 years down the road. That's for future. So instead of you waiting 
thinking that you would drop this because of ego and you would rather wait for the club to come after you so that you don't have to bring down your price why don't you take it as your investment to yourself i mean not going below the par to what you could offer but instead being somebody who is there to show your existence in the industry because because the thing is uh, social media has taken over the world right now to provide everybody as someone today mm -hmm. like if you if you think there's only one model that that's uh, available in Malaysia it's impossible you know that, that there are a lot of models like everybody's a model so of course obviously that 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 thing it confuses people like they don't know who to choose like who is who what is what is it in the club industry we don't remain the same old people to work in the club we obviously get like new and new 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 people coming into the picture because they want to get an opportunity they want to learn as well so they wouldn't know who are you so we cannot wait for them to come after you to to, to google you who are you and whatsoever that's going to take like ages that's going to take ages Definitely. because you need to consistently work on your way to promote yourself to make yourself popular to market yourself and for all this you need money it's an investment so investment could come in a way where you approach people being a little bit humble rather than egoistic for example I've done that before, free shows, going to this club, party club club. Okay. And I've done free shows and stuff. So I usually go on a weekly basis so that I can prove myself that I have something it takes. Okay. But they expect me, they're going to think like, you know, uh, this guy is probably going to come back and give me free service. Now that is the problem there. That is the problem there. There's only one small problem that it occurred. The approach was super humble and perfect, but the offer was the problem. The offer was free. Once you give somebody free, they will not buy it again. They forever want it for free. Now, the approach is perfect. You go and say, hey man, I'm an MC and I'm ready to work for your night. I will promise you that I will give you a good show. You, all you gotta do is just appreciate my, my services and my request, my quotation to this performance is 500, for example. Now, a man who's, who's doing a business, he will never do a free business. If he's doing a free business, then he is fucked up businessman. Yeah? He's really a fucked up businessman. So, if he appreciates you, or even if he wants to try you for once, then 500 is guaranteed for you. So, what are you doing at that point of time is, you are maintaining your fee that at 500 and you are going for opportunities for the return of your your work it all depends on how you deliver your services your skills that matters okay so only that one mistake there don't offer yourself for free so what we understand here from getting the opportunities that stops you is our personal ego to a certain point now, being very straight up and humble to you, uh, I don't mean to, to say anything bad, but I've got to be honest. Uh, if we, at the stage of growing and looking towards visualizing ourselves five years uh, now, later or even ten years, uh, as for now, instead of calling it as um, losing, we should focus into investing ourselves into that, that pool where you can put yourself everywhere with the decent amount that you deserve as a respect and move forward along the way getting your connection with DJs getting your connection with clubs and masses understanding this guy fucking good two things for sure don't perform for free and don't perform for clubs that don't have a budget I totally get that but the whole talent gotta be united as much to overcome this problem the talents obviously gotta be united and you gotta tell the talents to be united. Do not perform for free. GG Boy, thank you very much for joining me and telling me what you need to tell me. I would definitely look forward to find uh, ways to help you and the future MCs 
to solve this fucking dilemma. Mm -hmm. Cheers to this. Cheers to that. Thank you very much for joining me again. It's time to change the game. It is time to change the game. I go by the name of Gingy Boy, and y'all tuning in to Ask Why. Optimus tight synopsis is dropped when I level the score Two crew from the tenement floor Pause for thought as I draw from the heavenly lane Walk open from enemy gates So bare face, no air trick